Let's, let's fix that. It's a little low. All right. Hello, everybody. It's me, Cullen, back with another Plagic Shave. Tonight will be Plagic Shave 41, I believe. Um, tonight, I'm using two new products. Well, actually, three new products to me. I'm using this sample of WSP Formula T Olympus. I've had this for a while. Um, it smells really good. Um, they give you a whole bunch in the samples, that's for sure. Um, I used almost half in this. Um, in my bowl, I went with the old Captain's Choice again. And uh, my new Wild West Brushworks with a West Coast, or not West Coast, AP Shave Co. 28 millimeter Sinbad knock. Um, my buddy tells me I need to use more synthetic, so I ordered that one. And my third new item is my Blackland Saber that the Shave Channel received today from a subscriber. Um, a friend of the channel, a friend that was a friend before I ever made a channel, he encouraged me to make a channel, um, and that would be Wayne. Um, and Wayne, I thank you um, from the bottom of my heart. This is just the most <clears throat> unbelievable um, thing I've ever seen. Um, to order a razor of this cost straight from the company um, for the growth of the channel. Um, I thank you. Um, Wayne asked me if this was going to be a difficult razor to load, and I told him, I don't know. But the blade just slides right on, so, so far it is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pipe goes right on, so... <clears throat> So far, it's as easy as any DE I've ever used, and handle goes on. Um, he ordered me the level two uh, machined finish. Um, he said he wasn't ordering the polished one because he knows I will polish it anyways. <clears throat> and so, thank you for that, Wayne. Um, the channel thanks you. I thank you personally. I've expressed my thanks to you. Um, many, many times um, over our conversation since you ordered this. Um, it has really been mind-blowing um, that you did this for the channel, um, and I truly appreciate it. Um, and last night I said... I used the uh, Yaki Yachi Raster, and I said that I'm going to try to polish it. We're going to see if it survives. Well, not only did it survive, but um, it mirror polished. And during polishing, you know, if you have a raster, you know the corners are sharp. Uh, well, polishing, because it's pop metal, uh, I was able to round those out very easily. Um, and being careful with the rest of it, um, but as you can see there, it shined up absolutely. Now it's getting all fogged up from the hot water from the sink. But you can see it shined up absolutely beautifully. Uh, the bottom's the same way. The, the whole thing's shined up except for the bottom of the uh, top cap. I didn't mess with because of that weird post. Uh, but the base plate, the top of it, everything's shined up on that. Uh, that turned out awesome. Secondly, I wanted to show a guy uh, messaged me uh, asking about the uh, Blackbird Titanium, um, if I could mirror polish it. I told him I've never mirror polished one. Um, the polish level I've reached, that I've gotten on them um, is pretty close to mirror, but it's difficult. Um, I spent like another hour on mine and... Um, was able to mirror polish uh, my Blackbird Titanium. So um, if you're a viewer of the channel, I hope you see this and know that it could be done. 
uh, reach out to me again on Etsy and we'll get you taken care of. Uh, but let's get on with the shave because I am very excited to feel how this uh, razor feels and that lather. Um, is superb. The smell of it's very good. I've never used a um, WSP soap before, and uh, I forgot to wipe my face before I put this on. I got so excited to uh, do the shave, but as well hydrated as this is, um, shouldn't be a problem. Wayne has always told me that this knot um, is one of his favorites. Um, I don't know what the scent notes of this are, but it's very, very reminiscent of a Creed Aventus dupe. Um, I don't know if it is. Uh, but, um, I believe this knot is also, um, one of CDB's choice knots. Um, I don't typically like um, oh but I forgot to show the colors on this thing um, I got it because um, pretty close to the colors on my channel but it's just gorgeous I think this is one of CDB's uh, favorite knots also um, I've never been a fan of synthetics. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I don't hide that. Uh, but that's actually a really good, uh, good one there. Um, so the angle is very easy to find. It's nothing like my uh, above the tie G1 where you have to like hold a cap flat against your face to. This is a brand new gym blade on here. Uh, level two is definitely the way to go. Level one would have been way too mild. This actually has uh, some blade feel to it. I found that with uh, with paint scrapers, as um, Wayne called them. Um, A lot of blade feel usually isn't preferable because the uh, the uh, gym blades are so much thicker than regular than a DE blade. Um,
And I think maybe a, a, a gem style razor with a bunch of blade feel uh, may just be a very uncomfortable shave because that blade's so rigid. Um, you know, whereas a, um, a DE blade, um, being so thin, it has give to it, um, whereas these do not. But, uh, I think this is the first knot I have set. In a long time that I didn't check the loft on. I just stuck it in there and Before I uh, put it in the brush, I felt it and felt that it's a, being a 28, it's pretty um, dense and it was pretty stiff. Um, that way though, like all synthetics, um, lathering the face with it um, doesn't feel good because you're scrubbing your face with plastic. I'm curious to how this may feel with uh, with one plastic shim under it. I could cut myself right there. Oh, my nose under here. I get, I don't know if it's a gland or what it is, but from time to time right under my nose, will swell up and when I shave um, it makes it stick out and sometimes the razor catches it and cuts it um, yeah Now, I don't know if the angle with this, you're supposed to ride the cap. Um, but uh, it's a very good feeling razor. Just cut myself there. And so one thing about these gem blades is they uh, get a little heavy-handed with them, and they let you know right away.
I don't know what Blackland rates the level two um, assay. Um, as far as um, aggression, um, you know, because they had the the dart rated at whatever it was, and the blackbird was rated as more aggressive. Um, when the blackbird is so much smoother and nowhere near as aggressive feeling. But this not feels good as long as you're painting. Um, I scrubbed because, uh, look at that lather. When I made my lather in the bowl, um, I had splayed the brush a lot, um, trying to get the soap out of the bottom. And there's a bunch of soap up in there. Um, and that's Mr. It's more like a squirt than the way it. But I gotta say, out of all the um, synthetics I've used, um, this so far is probably. Is that another one? Yeah, uh, I didn't know where that one came from. Apparently me and the razor somewhere, but never felt that one. Um, oh yeah, I had a template or something right there. I could feel where it was raised. I don't have one anymore. I took that sucker right off. That's what I love about shaving this way. If you have skin tags, you won't have much longer. Save yourself a trip to the uh, dermatologist. Yeah, I don't know what this plate's rated as as far as uh, aggression. Um, but it definitely has more blade feel than my uh, above the tide G1 even when I shim it.
but it shades very nicely. Um, curious now as to how the uh, how the plate one feels. Um, just to see what the actual difference is. Um, well, that thing's a uh, really good shaver. The only problem I ever have with gem razors is on my neck right here, I have this patch of hair and the way it grows, um, if I tried to actually get it to where I can't feel it too bad, I get real bad irritation from gem blades um, for whatever reason. But let me get cleaned up and I will be back with aftershave commentary thoughts, all that stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Um, tonight we used a sample of uh, WSP Formula T Olympus. Um, I believe this is a Creed of Venice dupe. Smells very similar to it if it's not. I used my Captain's Choice Bowl, my Wild West Brushworks, and that thing is just, it's my, uh, it's very pretty, uh, with the Cactus Coin and my AP Shave Co. 28 millimeter knot. This brush came in at 26 millimeters, so I had to use a Forstner bit to make it 28 millimeters. And brand new to the channel, thanks to a friend of the channel, friend of mine. Um, that's where I stabbed myself with a needle when I was sewing earlier. Um, Wayne. For this beautiful black land saber which is just an absolute joy to shave with feels very good feels totally different than the um above the tai g one this is a very more uh this is a level two um so it has a lot more blade feel than what i was expecting uh, because typically gem style razors are usually pretty mild not this one um, but it was a very very good shave um, and uh, we'll be finishing it off with my very own concoction. This is Clubman Panade, Panode, whatever you want to call it. This is original Clubman, vanilla Clubman, lime sec, and a little bit of something else. Uh, another Clubman. But let's put this on and really get this burning. As many cups as I got. Oh, yeah. Whew. Wow, that alcohol burned us. Makes you want to cry sometimes. <clears throat> but uh, tomorrow I'll be coming at you using. Uh, what will I be using tomorrow? I don't know. I think tomorrow I may use my uh, new West Coast shaving brush. Not West Coast shave. Why do I keep saying West Coast shaving tonight? Uh, my new sun making required brush. Uh, I really should have put that knot in my new AKA brush works um, brush. I got this one thinking it was um, this one's brother or sister, but it's actually more of a... Um, cousin or something they're not quite the same not as bright but still pretty cool um but i put my last knot into my sun making required blue brush i don't have any smrs that are this shape and this one's just pretty cool um, so we'll see what we could do and i finished uh andy if you happen to watch this video i finished your strap tonight uh, with the blue leather buckles and the D-rings as you requested. 
the blue fire hose. Um, seeing how you're a Kentucky fan. And this has black uh, Latigo leather on it that is already conditioned. This is 24 inches long. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll be sending this to you just as soon as I get your uh, leather case I want you to try because I'm testing the new leather uh, razor case on you. Um, and so I should have that done hopefully this tomorrow Tuesday. Hopefully I should be able to have it done Wednesday. Um, Got to let the dye and all that dry on it. And I'll get that out to you um, as soon as possible. I got a surge if you're watching. Um, I need you to okay the new pattern I cut for you um, so I could get working on that. All right, we are back. Um, tonight we used a sample of uh, WSP Formula T Olympus. Um, I believe this is a Creed of Venice dupe. Smells very similar to it if it's not. I used my Captain's Choice Bowl, my Wild West Brushworks, and that thing is just, it's my, uh, it's very pretty, uh, with the Cactus Coin and my AP Shave Co. 28 millimeter knot. This brush came in at 26 millimeters, so I had to use a Forstner bit to make it 28 millimeters. And brand new to the channel, thanks to a friend of the channel, friend of mine. Um, that's where I stabbed myself with a needle when I was sewing earlier. Um, Wayne for this beautiful Blackland Sabre, which is just an absolute joy to shave with. Feels very good, feels totally different than the um, above the Tai G one. This is a very more, uh, this is a level two. Um, so it has a lot more blade feel than what I was expecting uh, because typically gem style razors are usually pretty mild. Not this one, um, but it was a very, very good shave. Um, and uh, we'll be finishing it off with my very own concoction. This is Clubman Pinod, Pinod, whatever you want to call it. This is original Clubman, vanilla Clubman, lime sec, and a little bit of something else. Uh, another Clubman. But let's put this on and really get this burning as many cups as I got. Oh yeah. Whew. Wow, that alcohol burned us. Makes you want to cry sometimes. <clears throat> but uh, tomorrow I'll be coming at you using, uh... what will I be using tomorrow? I don't know. I think tomorrow I may use my uh, new West Coast Shaving brush. Not West Coast Shaving. Why do I keep saying West Coast Shaving tonight? Uh, my new Sun Making Required brush. Uh, I really should have put that knot in my new AKA Brush Works um, brush. I got this one thinking it was um, this one's brother or sister, but it's actually more of a... Um, cousin or something they're not quite the same not as bright but still pretty cool um but i put my last knot into my sun making required blue brush i don't have any smrs that are this shape and this one's just pretty cool um, so we'll see what we could do and i finished uh andy if you happen to watch this video i finished your all right we are back. Um, tonight we used a sample of uh, WSP Formula T Olympus. Um, 
I believe this is a Creed of Venice dupe. Smells very similar to it if it's not. I used my Captain's Choice Bowl, my Wild West Brushworks, and that thing is just, it's my, uh, it's very pretty, uh, with the Cactus Coin and my AP Shave Co. 28 millimeter knot. This brush came in at 26 millimeters, so I had to use a Forstner bit to make it 28 millimeters. And brand new to the channel, thanks to a friend of the channel, friend of mine. Um, that's where I stabbed myself with a needle when I was sewing earlier. Um, Wayne for this beautiful black land saber, which is just an absolute joy to shave with. Feels very good. Feels totally different than the um, above the Tai G one. This is a very more, uh, this is a level two. Um, so it has a lot more blade feel than what I was expecting uh, because typically gem style razors are usually pretty mild. Not this one, um, but it was a very, very good shave. Um, and uh, we'll be finishing it off with my very own concoction. This is Clubman Pinod, Pinod, whatever you want to call it. This is original Clubman, vanilla Clubman, lime sec, and a little bit of something else. Uh, another Clubman. Let's put this on and really get this burning. As many cups as I got. Oh, yeah. Whew. Wow, that alcohol burned us. Makes you want to cry sometimes. <clears throat> but uh, tomorrow I'll be coming at you using. Uh, What will I be using tomorrow? I don't know. I think tomorrow I may use my uh, new West Coast shaving brush. Not West Coast shaving. Why do I keep saying West Coast shaving tonight? Uh, my new sun making required brush. Uh, I really should have put that knot in my new AKA brush works. Um, brush. I got this one thinking it was um, this one's brother or sister, but it's actually more of a um, cousin or something. They're not quite the same. Not as bright, but still pretty cool. Um, but I put my last knot into my Sun Making Required blue brush. I don't have any SMRs that are this shape, and this one's just pretty cool. Um, so we'll see what we could do. And if Finished, uh, Andy, if you happen to watch this video, I finished your strap tonight uh, with the blue leather buckles and the D-rings as you requested. The blue fire hose, um, seeing how you're a Kentucky fan. And this has black uh, Latigo leather on it that is already conditioned. This is 24 inches long. Um, I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll be sending this to you just as soon as I get your uh, leather case. I want you to try because I'm testing the new leather uh, razor case on you. Um, and so I should have that done hopefully this tomorrow, Tuesday. Hopefully I should be able to have it done Wednesday. Um, Got to let the dye and all that dry on it. And I'll get that out to you um, as soon as possible. I got a surge if you're watching. Um, I need you to okay the new pattern I cut for you um, so I could get working on that. And then I got one more order I got to do. But uh, thank you all for watching me again. Um, this was an absolute beautiful shave tonight with this uh, saber. Uh, Never thought I would own one, um, just because 
I enjoy my above the Tai G1 and um, I thank you Wayne once again you're probably gonna get sick of hearing me say thank you to you uh, but forever grateful um, but thank you for tuning in to another episode of Plagic Shave please like subscribe and comment if you would please and uh, take care be safe and God bless <coughs>